Something many of you have been calling us about. What rights do homeowners have if you're facing foreclosure? Tonight, we're going to help. For Your Money team reporter David Sutta shows you your options, the true impact foreclosure has on your credit, and how to avoid being ripped off. I hope this is not my future, you know. That's, that's my goal. That, that, that's going to happen to me. When Raul and Alice Ramirez walk down their block, it's a sobering experience. Foreclosure after foreclosure, and they could be next. If we lose the house, we lose everything. Over the last year, they blew their savings to keep their business afloat. That business now gone, thanks to the economy. And now they're behind on their mortgage payments. Every, every day is thinking about, oh, I have to pay that bill, I have to pay another, I don't, I don't have money. You know, it's terrible for us right now. After the car has been repossessed. Raul, delivering printing supplies for minimum wage, is on the edge of losing everything. After working 20 years, it's hard to ask your family for help to buy a, a gallon of milk for your daughter. That is tough. So far, South Florida is on track to have more foreclosures than a record year in 2008. But before you become one, you should know your foreclosure options. The first and most important thing anyone needs to do who has either been served with a foreclosure or knows that a foreclosure is coming in the imminent future is to contact a lawyer. Attorney Eric Shane represents dozens of homeowners facing foreclosure. He says if you get a notice of a foreclosure, you need to contest it within 20 days or else. You will be on a fast track to losing your home. And when I say fast track, it could happen and as soon as 60 to 90 days, you will be out of the house. An attorney can keep you in your home for up to two years. Over that time, they'll offend you in court, possibly even getting your mortgage revoked. There are plenty of people out there that have been fraudulently placed in these loans. They, were, they sh never should have been placed in the loans in the first place. They didn't have the means to, to qualify for that loan. The underwriting guidelines were extremely negligent um, for a lot of these people. At the very least, they could put the bank through its paces and likely get the bankers to modify your loan to something you can afford. No modifications need to be done through attorneys. Uh, there's a lot of companies that are spurting up right now and, and, and they've been in business for a year, six months, or not even, and have no idea how to do these modifications. Mortgage broker Frank Albergon says loan modifications are a great option for someone in foreclosure, but you need to be careful. If somebody tells you stop making a mortgage payment, pay me, turn around, don't do business with them, because uh, that's not right. You know, you, you can lose your house. Loan modifications change your interest rate and the length of your mortgage to make your payment affordable. Rarely does the bank adjust how much you owe. You, you don't have to make a single late payment and modify your loan. If your loan is going to adjust in a couple of months and it's going to go up 2.5%, 3% and you're not going to be able to afford it, you can start doing your modification already. Finally, for the homeowner who's looking to short sell their home to save their credit, a reality check. It's a better option. It's an honorable option, but their credit is still going to be damaged significantly and maybe even the same as a foreclosure. Howard Dvorkin, founder of Consolidated Credit, a nonprofit company that helps people out of debt, says the typical foreclosure or short sale will hit your credit score the same, anywhere from 200 to 300 points. And a two to 300 point drop can put them from great credit to almost the worst credit out there. Dvorkin says the only difference a short sale will make comes from Fannie Mae, the largest issuer of mortgages in America. They will allow you to buy a home in three years, two years sooner than if it were a foreclosure. This is the house where my, our daughter uh, grew up for four and a half years, and that is the, the house we wanted. The Ramirez family has hired an attorney who is now working with their bank to modify their loan, trying to keep their American dream alive. Trying to keep it alive. We're trying. Now it's up to the lender. <laughs> if they want to, you know, to let the people dream. And we certainly hope that they do let him dream. There is no fee. You should never pay a fee for a loan modification. The only time you should pay any kind of fee is for attorneys.